Hi friends, uh, today we will discuss gold ornament auction process. So auction will happen to all the secured loans. For example, bank or financial institution, if they given loans to uh, loan against a property, loan against a land, loan against a gold, loan against to any security, customer or borrower's responsibility to repay the total principal amount interest charges if any in this process if borrower or customer is not paying the amount regularly and this account becomes npa then bank or financial institution they will send a auction notice to customer first they will send a notice auction notice and they will give a time within that time time frame if he is not responded then this will go to auction process so today i will explain you gold ornament auction process so a bank or financial institution to recover the loan dues from the default borrowers so uh, to collect the default uh, amount uh, amount from the default borrowers they will go for the auction process today i have taken example of gold ornament so already when this auction uh, process initiated when this account becomes npa so in npa we are discussed in different videos so once a uh, customer default for three months it will uh, th first will be uh, one month means 30 days second month means nine, uh, 60 days third month means 90 days after 90 days account will be categorized as npa and customer is continuously is not repaying and de defaulted then auction process will be initiated so in this process company will send a standard process notice to the customer or borrower so mentioning okay this is the loan you are taken you are defaulted for uh, three months you are be become, become npa so another 60 days i am giving a notice please come and repay the entire amount otherwise we will take a legal action or will go for the auction of the ornament so these auction notice will be sent to borrower bar customer so after loan expires but loan is given for one year or loan is given for two years after that automatically company will charge a penal interest on the existing loan for example i given three percent per annum uh, it may be uh, in example you can see like a original rate will be 8.25 and after uh, maturity once it will become outstanding it will be 8.75 only example purpose i have given this sample so normally three percent per annum five percent per annum ten percent per annum they will charge as a penal interest charges reminders yes now 10th january you have taken a loan 10th February you have to pay first EMI. It may be interest or principal plus interest. If you are not paid, then customer will be sent a 30 days remainder notice. Next month also you are not paid, then they will send a 60 days remainder. After 90 days, they will send a NPA reminder. These can be sent through SMS, calls, emails or letters also, letters through courier. So, after uh, Ex, uh, expiry or uh, once the lo loan becomes NPA, then auction notice will be sent to borrower after expiry of the notice. So, already in that they will mention the notice like 60 days. Within the 60 days, he has to come to the branch and he has to uh, start the uh, repayment process. So, you can discuss with the bank and you can uh, go with so. Uh, immediately you can pay the interest and 20 percent of the principal then you request for the time you can do and some cases borrower will not respond or reply for the notice sent by the bank then auction process will be started so in auction process standardized auction process will be followed which was set up by the board of directors or company and they will have a standard letter to be issued to uh, borrowers to auction the gold because we are given the loan against gold so loan gold will be auctioned so this auction everything they will follow as per the standard 
process which was initiated by the board of directors or company policy. So, step 1 will be they will identify auctioner. This auctioner will auction the gold. He should not belong to customer or he should not belong to bank. He is an independent auctioner and he is a qualified uh, auctioner. So, he should be a qualified. Okay. So, he will invite uh, different auctioners, they will finalize one auctioner. Then the process will be started as per the board of directors. Step 2. So, auction place will be decided. So, where this auction should be gold. Normally, uh, in a particular branch, if the loan is disbursed, the same branch, this auction will happen. Sometimes, auction can be online. It is not like physically you will go to branch and you can see the gold then uh, bid. It can be online sometimes. And step 3. So, in local languages, auction advertisement will be published in uh, English newspaper and local language also. So, they will mention the person names, gold amount. So, where is the auction date, time, place, everything they will mention with the terms and conditions. Then guidelines. So, what are the guidelines should be auction? The, the fixed minimum amount should be communicated by the lender. So, who has given the land? So, I have bold this much, but minimum I need a 10 lakhs rupees and reserve price for the gold articles also it will be decided. So, then different bidders from the public, they will come and bid for the gold. So, you, in this process, they will collect the employees involved in the auction, their KYC details, bidders uh, KYC details, those they are participating in the auction, they will collect the all KYC documents. Then bank or financial institution, they have to display the gold article to auctioners and bidders. Who is conducting this entire auction uh, responsible person auctioner bank will display all the gold to auctioner plus bidders then bidders will give the price in closed cover so whoever given the highest bid he will get the delivery of the gold so then he has given some deposit amount every bidder has to give a deposit amount before coming for the uh, auction after within uh, 3 days remaining that uh, deposit amount will be adjusted with the bid amount. Remaining amount he has to pay through check, demand drop or bank. Then he will get a uh, sell receipt. So, bank has sell the uh, process to the bidder and receives a purchase receipt in return. For example, he has uh, written then he will get a purchase receipt also. Steps 3. So, uh, now, bidder has come, has given highest bidder, Every, entire process is completed. Now, we got the independent loan, we got the independent loan amount. Now, if the, uh, whatever the uh, auction amount is less than the uh, outstanding loan outstanding amount, that remaining amount should be collected from the borrower. If bid amount is more than the outstanding loan amount, then this amount should be returned to the borrower. For example, 10 lakhs is your loan outstanding, but if you sold that articles, you got 9 lakhs. 1 lakh should be collected from the borrower. Another case, 10 lakhs is the outstanding, but you got 11 lakhs. So, in 11 lakhs, 1 lakh, you will de deduct all the charges. Uh, auction charges will be there, notification charges will be there, remainder charges will be there and all other charges will be deducted. Remaining will be paid to borrower through account transfer check or cash. This is the entire gold loan ornament auction process. If you like my video, please comment, please share with your friends also.